Hello and welcome to Puppet Game Business Monetizer. Um, this is where we look at the free to play uh, mobile games and look at the monetization. And there we go. <laughs> so we're playing um, uh, Mobile Strike from uh, Machine Zone. Actually, technically, it's a uh, Epic War is the country, it's a company, but it's a uh, Machine Zone really. Um, and the first thing we see, and you always get this with uh, this game, and as soon as you fire up the game, you see the advertising. Of, re of well, retailing, I suppose, really. So it's not Black Friday anymore, but we're still, I guess, we're still we're not even Cyber Monday anymore. But we're still getting this kind of retailing situation, and not for these kind of games. What we would, what we would say actually with uh, Machine Zones games is they are heavily monetized or aggressively monetized. Not that those are negative um, descriptions. That's just the way the, the the games are set up. They are designed for people. Um, to play them, and those people are heavily incentivized to pay in those games. So, if you're playing um, a game of war or or a mobile strike, which have pretty much similar mechanics, um, and you're not paying money, you're probably not progressing, um, probably not having a great experience. They are set up um, to encourage people to pay money, and that's not buying five dollars of of. of uh, Five dollars here and there. This is hundreds of dollars, perhaps even thousands of dollars a month um, to get kind of the uh, full enjoyment. Um, anyway, so we see this. We can kind of see what what the game game is kind of about. Really, most of this retail um, retailing here. So we can see it's a see at the top. There's a clock ticking down. So this is a, supposedly an offer that is will not be available for more than half an hour or just over half an hour. We can see. Um, so it's a holiday special. We were going to get um, 1,200 plus 8,000 bonus gold. So we can see why this is supposedly such a super sale. Um, so we're getting, uh, and, the, and we see the speed ups now. So it's kind of quite interesting that, um, for, uh, like, like Game of War, um, Mobile Strike uses um, individual kind of speed ups. So we can see here. So a three hour speed, five yeah, five three hour speed ups, 50, 60 minute speed ups, 50, 50 minute speed ups, and 50, 10 minute speed ups. It's not like other games where you kind of use hard currency. Um, so you might be building a building and it'll say speed up now and it'll use what will seem like a random amount, but a programmed amount of, of hard currency to speed things up. This context is the complete opposite of you really, and you buy um, or a given, in this case, or um, items that will speed up. Um, your build for a certain period of time. This is kind of interesting because often you're not you're not speeding up and completing those buildings in using these. Or the, sometimes if you've got a 12 minute build cycle, you use a 10 minute one and they wait two minutes, or you use a 15 minute one and, and kind of in sense lose three minutes. And maybe that's not how people think about it, but um, it's a very different kind of type of mechanic. You can see here there's food, oil, iron, stone. So these are the hard soft um, sorry soft currencies in the game. Resource currencies really. There's these various crates. Getting a pea shield. Getting a teleport. And the other very important thing about um, all games from Machine Zone is very alliance focused. So you can see I'm buying this, but if I'm in an alliance, I'm not in an alliance, but if I'm in an alliance, my alliance gets all these things as well. And that's one of the key things that drives monetization in a game like um, Mobile Strike is getting people into alliances very quickly in the process. Almost in the tutorial, you're asked to, go to, um, to join a um, Alliance, and then the alliance structure is very social, in the sense that people are maybe not expected, but by buying stuff for you, yourself as a player, you're also powering up your alliance. Um, and all this, you know, it seems like a lot. Of, look at all that stuff we're getting. And it's only four pounds. What's that? Kind of um, six dollars. Okay, but let's go into the game. So this is again very interesting to look at this type of game, and we could kind of say this is not a high graphical. Quality game. I mean, it is what it is, I suppose. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not in three D. It's kind of tile based. I and mean, there's a lot going on, you know. It's animation in there. It's not, it's not um, graphically terrible, but it's not obviously pushing the boundaries of what of what mobile games can do now. And that's not the point. That's not what these um, games are there for. Okay, so we can see we can tap on a few things. We can see it growing on top of the screen. Um, I'm level 10 at the moment, not very high at all. Oh, I'm a VIP, um, level 4, so 
Um, VIP is again something you earn or something you can buy. It's my powers, it's my gold. I've got 100 gold. Um, it's not so much, but I can um, purchase 900 gold to get a free gift. Oh, if we've tapped on that, we've gone back into that sale thing. I can buy gold. This is real money, so obviously you go up to pick your 20,000 gold for 100 bucks. That's the hard currency, we know all about that. So you can across the top of the screen, there's five um, of these soft currencies, um, which are used when you're making stuff. And there's kind of fl other flashing things. So there's this young lady here, Scarlet. She's saying there's a sale, Black Friday sale. So again, we've got the countdown still going on there, encouraging us to uh, look at all that lovely gold. Again, we have this one here. This isn't a sale. No, this is a, oh, didn't mean to press on that. So this is a, they're still getting the, the, the this is a challenge, but we're still getting, and we can see how much gold we've got, we're still getting the retailing in there. These are challenges. Participate challenges that earn free stuff. You can see there, um, all, everything is kind of um, counting down. You know, we kind of see, you know, we realise we're in a system where this stuff's going on all the time. Um, it's kind of funny down the bottom here, I always find it funny, there's this one gold again, wonder what we're going to get. Okay, so if we join the lights, we can get 500 gold. So um, these are all these alliances I could join. Kind of get an idea about different what their languages are when you're ty when you're um, chatting, type chatting. Please welcome in this one. <laughs> um, I've got this one here. This oh wow, well, I've received a supply crate, so that was good. I've got 100 VIP points, so you can see. Let's go into here VIP. So I'm. Uh, if I get some more points, to 20, 120 points, I'll get to BOP level 5. What is BOP useful? I want to see in a minute. But what, I guess what's interesting is, where are we here? Go in here. This is the mission structure. So missions are basically, I'm just doing some stuff and collecting them. There's always something to do. Um, but they're basically the missions are, tap here. Yeah, and this is the type of game it is. It's very menu based. Um, doing anything there's not no gameplay starting can't do any alliance missions so I'm not in alliance and VIP okay can I activate my VIP so I am a VIP level but um, I'm it's not kind of active at the moment so you can see here I've not spent any money this is just stuff I've earned so I can get a I've had four um, VIP day passes to degree or two thirty one so maybe I'll use one of those and now I can go and access some VIP missions so I can click the last one I did. Of course, um, I'm not going to be a VIP long enough to click that one. Unless I speed it up. Yes. So I can speed it up. Okay, maybe use a 10 minute speed up. And you see now how, how the kind of flow of the game is happening. And again, it's interesting that, uh, that I'm not in the game in terms of doing anything in the game. I'm, there is no, you know, there is no game. I'm um, tapping on things, upgrade my trading post to level 6. So, in the, you know, still, you know, I've been playing this game for about over a week now. It's still like, almost like it looks like it's an intuitive tutorial with these big flashing arrows. You know, how can I, how can I, you know, um, I suppose I can't make a mistake. It's treating me like I'm stupid. It may be uh, it's not a bad thing to do. But we can see, you know, that's now that um, mission is underway. So I've got, I've got a building underway, mission underway, I can speed those things up. But basically, this is is the game. With the, If I had like an alliance, there'd be more kind of stuff I'd do. I could do raids on other people. Um, as I say, I'm not massively uh, advanced, really. Uh, let's do another mission here. The standard mission. Good going there. Um, and we can just see everything we're doing there is very time-based, and then the monetization is based around speeding this stuff up, and just um, and in a sense, it's kind of you know a very pure experience, it's an experience that a lot of people, you know, won't enjoy because there's no kind of skill element. As you can say, there's not even any graphical uh, experience really. Um, it's very uh, abstract almost. Um, certainly, until you get into the level, you can kind of see. You know, the type of thing a little bit down here. There's the um, this is. The, Chat is very good kind of chat, so we can see all this. Uh, these guys see this one. So this one was translated from Spanish. So it's a very good translation system. 
setups encourages people um, to, to stay playing the game. Um, at the moment, you know, the level I am at, not very powerful level, certainly. Um, that's pretty much all I can do now. I can speed things up. Um, but that's my session kind of over with. And I think it is, um, you know, the one thing that's interesting when you play a game like Game of War or, or, or um, Mobile Strikers, people have very strong opinions about it. But the one thing to remember is these games are, certainly Game of War is one of the most successful um, mobile games in the history of mobile games. Just uh, it's, it's, its sheer um, profitability is, is absolutely staggering. And that doesn't happen by chance. That happens by very um, honed design and very honed... Um, uh, kind of operations, you know, day one day operations of, of how how the game developer is is giving um, what the players giving the players kind of what they want and driving them onwards, um, particularly through this alliance structure. Let me see here, you know, how do we get end up with loads of menus? So you can look at all this kind of menu situation going on here, all the kind of detailed stuff you can do. Um, okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea about the monetization of of. Uh, Mobile Strike. It's not a game for everyone, certainly, but already it's kind of racing up the top grossing charts. Already top twenty top grossing uh, on iPhone in the states, and will probably do similar to Game of War, which is now um, neck and neck um, with uh, with uh, Clash of Clans. I'm actually beating Clash of Clans in North America at the moment. Um, so um, well done, well done, Machine Zone. Um, don't forget, um, come back to PocketGame.biz. Subscribe to our channel. We do a lot of this kind of analysis of mobile free-to-play games. So uh, come back and see what we're up to uh, next week. Yeah, cool. See you then.